Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to GeoGuessr Play Along. So for today's maps, we're going to play an improved world, no move, followed by a balanced world, NMPZ. So let's get started. Improved world, no move. Okay, so we have a European location to start off with. Uh, Reitzendorf, and this is Dresden. So that's nice, nice to know. So let's go into Dresden. So this should be on the edge of the city somewhere. Um, and this house, okay. Uh, can we find a Reitzendorf? Let's have a look. Going to look around the city. Um, we're on the edge of the city. Only the cities are covered in Germany, so it shouldn't be too far away from the city centre. And can I find it? I don't think I can. Nice and dwarf. Now let's have a look around. Don't know. I'm not sure exactly which direction the city is in, but we should be around Dresden, maybe somewhere around here. Let's see. Okay, and it was to the east of Dresden. Can we find... Oh, okay, I had to... Whoops. Perhaps I had to zoom in a bit further to be able to see it, so... Uh, at least I got the city, so that's a, a good start. Uh, on to the next round. And, oh, well done if you 5k'd. It looks like a lot of you have. So, uh, good stuff. Next round. Okay, um, we have white centre lines and this pickup truck. So, I'm thinking northern Chile. Uh, it wouldn't be Peru because Peru has yellow centre lines. Also, Bolivia normally has yellow. So, somewhere in... Chile. So going to Chile. Um, so the sun should be north. So the sun is north. Maybe the road is kind of also going north. So it's probably not one of these side roads. Maybe it's like this road that veers slightly to the northeast. Something like that. Um, maybe a bit further north actually. Maybe closer to Arica. Uh, just testing if I can um, use the sun without having the compass. I um, haven't really had much practice with that, but yeah, could give it a go. So let's see. Somewhere in northern Chile it should be. It was further south, okay. It was near Diego de, de Almagro, so um, yeah, maybe I should have hedged a bit more in the middle. Anyway, next round. Uh, let's see, okay, should be Japan, Japanese houses, and um, I don't know, the houses feel kind of more northern Japan, or at least north of Tokyo, that's what I'm thinking, maybe, but mm, not too sure, not too sure actually. This looks almost like a palm tree, so maybe it is not too far north after all. We have some mountains around, but um, Japan is a hard guess, a hard country to guess in, at least in terms of getting the region. I think I'm not going to stray too far from Tokyo because this could be um, a lot of regions. It could be, it could be south and it could be north. I really don't know. I have a feeling it might be a bit more likely to be north, so I'm going to guess around here somewhere. I think. Uh, let's try that. Okay, it was near Osaka. Fair enough. Well done, Iwagoma. Uh, getting very close. Iwagoma, maybe are you a uh, Japanese? Maybe um, maybe that helped. It looks like a uh, Japanese name. Um, apologies if it isn't, but uh, just wondering. Um, anyway, next round. Let's see. Okay. What do we have? Hmm. Not too sure from first glance. Okay, I thought that was a mailbox, but it's not. Um, but this should be probably like Western USA somewhere, judging by the kind of landscape in this house feels quite American. So I'm thinking maybe up near like Idaho, Oregon, Washington somewhere. I think these kind of trees fit as well, these long trees. Um, I hope it's not... Yeah, it, it shouldn't be Chile or something. The houses feel very... Much US. It's, there's a slight chance it could be Canada, I suppose, as well. But I'm thinking, yeah, really quite north, maybe Washington, Oregon, Idaho, somewhere around this area. 
I might hedge near kind of Boise, Boise, however you say that. Let's try that. Could be around there. Oh, nice. It was very close. So, near Fruitland. Nice, uh, nice name there. Um, yeah, happy to get that one. And Iba Groomer getting pretty close as well. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Always nice to get a uh, close score in, in a large country like the US where if you get further away it can be very punishing. Um, yeah, on to the next round, let's see. Okay, okay, we're in Vietnam. Okay, what's the town name going to be? Guyen Kuyen, I don't think that's a, I think that's a person, not a name. There are 10 cities covered in Vietnam. Maybe it is the name of the town. Um, I can't remember all the names of the ten towns that are covered. Hanoi. So we might be near Hanoi. Um, a lot of Nguyen Kuyen. I don't recognise that name, so I don't think it is the city. I might just be remembering wrong, but I've, I've seen a Hanoi, so I think that might be the most um, likely guess. It could be a bait. It could be a bait, but... Coverage in Vietnam is very much limited to the city centres, so I think the coverage in Hanoi is maybe somewhere around here. Maybe in Nguyen Kuyen is a street, actually. I don't think I'm going to find it in time. Um, I think it might be the street. I just remembered that Vietnam often has addresses all over the city. Let's see. Yeah, but it was the street. Pro uh, uh, Nguyen Kuyen. Nice. Okay. So, uh, let's see, we got 22.2k, um, uh, yeah, which I'm really happy with, um, a little bit of a miss in Chile and Japan, but, um, not too bad, um, the other three guesses were pretty close, so, Dresden, we had a nice easy clue, couldn't quite pinpoint, um, but, um, yeah, let's look at the high scores, so we are in 13th place, uh, which is good. And 202 people played, so GG's. I think that might be a record, so uh, really good stuff. Uh, thank you everyone for playing along. And we have Iwaguma in first with 24.6. Ethan Wickham with 24.2. None of it is the best with 23.7. None of it, yeah, cool place. Goatboy JT with 23.6. Saki with 23.0. Free Trial Man with 22.8, uh, DNNS84 with 22.7, Bags with 22.5, MMG with 22.5, SVM MVM with 22.5. So, GG's everybody, let's look at the top 20. Um, so, yeah, we had a very nice start with uh, Dresden, everyone in the top 20 uh, recognising the, recognizing the city, um, and a few people... 5k or almost 5k it. The town of Rietzendorf was quite difficult to find. It was, you had to zoom in quite far to see it. Um, and what else did we have? We had the USA. Um, the main clue were that the houses looked typical US and the landscape was typical of kind of northwest, um, northwest USA. It felt like it didn't feel too hot. But it didn't feel like Canada either, so, um, yeah. Um, a nice uh, plonk near Bois Bois uh, to get a decent score. Um, so, we had Japan. Um, Japan, always a difficult region to guess in. For some reason I thought that the houses felt a little bit northern, but it was near Osaka, kind of. So, Japan is um, quite a difficult country to get the correct region, I find. So well done if you got around Osaka there. Uh, what else we had? Vietnam. We had the uh, we had the address of uh, the, we had the road on a lot of the shops, and we had the city name Hanoi in various places. So that was nice. Only ten cities are covered in Vietnam, so um, yeah. And you often have the street name, the city name, all over the uh, all over the street view image. Right, what else did we have? Chile. Um, Chile was a typical, very dry Atacama desert landscape, like almost no trees, very barren. And with the white lines, it had to be Chile over Peru and Bolivia, so 
everybody somewhere about the uh, northern end of Chile, so uh, GG's. Do we miss anything? No, okay, so on to a balanced world, NMPZ. I don't think we've played this map in a while, but it's a notoriously uh, difficult and baity map, so especially playing no move, no pan, no zoom, so let's see what kind of seed we get. Okay. Okay, hmm. Actually, my first thought was Japan, but we are driving on the right. Driving on the right. Um, and it shouldn't be the US or Canada. We've got white center lines, and this sign looks quite European, but where in Europe could this be? Is this Scandinavia somewhere? It feels quite cold. It can't be Norway with the white line. Could it be a weird Sweden or Finland? Maybe, maybe. Hmm. But this is a balanced world, so this could be very wrong. We have a kind of lake. I think I might go Sweden. Maybe we've got these kind of rocks you see a lot in Norway, so I might go closer to the Norway border. Maybe um somewhere like this, near the lakes. Maybe hedge a little bit in the middle. And maybe hedge a little bit north. I don't know. Let's try that. It might not be Scandinavia at all. Um but the trees, I think it could be. It's Russia. Oh, okay, fair enough. Russia in, I think, this state is called... Well, this state is called Karelia. I'm not sure what this uh, province is, but... Um, yeah, makes sense why it looked a bit similar to kind of Scandinavia being up there. Um, yeah, interesting round. Um, well done. SVM, MVM getting pretty, pretty close there, so... Good stuff. And that makes sense with the white solid line was more... More of a Russian thing, I think, than Scandinavia. Um, the solid white line, I, I feel, is not very common in Scandinavian countries, so I probably should have taken that into account. Um, but yeah, and with this sign, it had to be kind of European. That looks like a very European sign. Um, so yeah, at least we got uh, some points there. Uh, 2.3k isn't uh, isn't uh, terrible. On to the next round. Okay. Arenda. Okay, is that Spanish? Arenda. Definitely European. Um, I can't quite read what this is at the top. But yeah, it feels like some kind of Mediterranean country at least. It could be, it could be Italy, but I, don't know, I think this feels a bit more Spanish. It could even be French, but this doesn't sound French. Um, so I'm thinking Spain here. Possibly Portugal. Not Greek language, so it doesn't look like a Slavic word. So I think it has to be S Spain or Portugal, or possibly Italy, but I think Spain is probably the most likely. It's quite green. We've got these trees. It doesn't feel too hot. So I'm thinking guessing, of guessing in the north somewhere. Maybe like one of these towns here. Let's try Miranda del Miranda de Ebro. And let's see. It was Portugal, okay, okay, in Braga, um, but yeah, not too bad, wrong country, but not too far off, so, uh, well done, Iwaguma, um, it's smashing it today, with, uh, 4 point, 4,700 points, so good stuff, next round, okay, let's see, so we've got a solid yellow line, this should be in the Americas somewhere, now my first thought was Guatemala. I don't. Th it's it's too tropical to be Canada. Canada has a lot of solid yellow lines. Um, could be Colombia, Ecuador, could be Mexico as well. Um, they're my kind of options, but I am getting kind of Guatemalan vibes. What about the poles? I'm not too sure. The poles don't really um scream anything to me. I don't know most of Latin American poles that well, so um, yeah, I can't really rely on those. So yeah, uh, Guatemala I'm going to guess, not sure about that, but it's quite flat, so could it be down here? It could be in one of these areas, maybe I'm going to hedge more in the middle. Well actually that's probably a bit mountainous, maybe, maybe around Salama. Because I think there are some kind of flat areas up there as well. Um, nice, it was Guatemala, I should have gone down there. But I'm really happy to get the country there, so... Um, Good stuff. And Goatboy JT getting pretty close as well. 
in Guatemala City. So, next round. Round four. Okay, um, we're driving on the left and yellow plates. So this should be Kenya or... Is this Kenya or um, Uganda? I think. I don't think it's Swaziland. I don't think it is. Um, Botswana, no. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for Kenya or Uganda. Probably Kenya here. Probably Kenya. Obviously, we don't have the snorkel or anything to help us. Um, but I can't really read anything that looks like it might be kind of Kenyan-looking words. But um, really, a lot. all of the text almost is uh, blurred out. We have kind of slightly reddish soil. I think... I think it could be anywhere between Nairobi and kind of the border, so I might, I might guess in Nakuru. I don't think it's near Mombasa, so I'm thinking somewhere around here, maybe. Not 100% on Kenya, though. And it was Uganda, okay. Okay, fair enough. Uganda and Kenya can be uh, can look very similar without the uh, meta, so... Um, at least it wasn't Swaziland or something, so... Also, they both have yellow plates, so what was a good clue that that was Uganda? Um, not too sure. Difficult to say. I do find them hard to uh, tell apart, kind of. On to the next round. Let's see. Oh, gosh, what is this going to be? We have white lines. We have this kind of orange, rocky soil. And it's hilly. Wow, this could be, this could be a lot of places. Gosh, I don't even know what continent it is or anything. Um, let's run through the continents. Doesn't feel. Oh gosh, this could be so many places. Kind of dry. Australia, I don't think so. Europe, where could it be? Could it be weird Turkey? Weird kind of. Oh, I don't think it's. South America, we have white lines. Could be Africa somewhere. Weird Ghana, maybe? Kenya? Maybe Kenya, even. No, because of the white lines. Maybe Ghana. I'm going to go Ghana. I'm not so sure. This, I, think, I don't think this is right. This is a weird location. I have no clue here. Absolutely no clue. Indonesia. Okay, wow. Yeah, Alor Island. Let's have a look at that. Okay, I mean, Indonesia did... It does make sense, kind of, with... Indonesia has a lot of these... Um... Very small roads with... Road markings, but on... With very narrow roads, almost like the lanes are... Only wide enough to fit a scooter, um, I think, in Indonesia. Because Indonesia has a lot of scooters, so you often see these... Kind of narrow roads that also have road markings. I think maybe not just Indonesia, but you see that in um, Malaysia a little bit as well, maybe some other countries, but I should have taken that into account. Um, but yeah, I think just the landscape felt weird. I know in Indonesia does have a lot of kind of weird spots like this. It's a big country and uh, hard to kind of learn all the landscapes. Um, but yeah, wow, what a... What a location, that was a typical uh, balanced world location. Curious to see what um, you guys guessed for that one. Um, yeah, let's see. So we got uh, 14.4 uh, thousand points, so um, pretty good, kind of three rounds were quite good. Um, the Guatemala one was probably the only real good one, because we had the only one we got the right country, but the others we kind of got the general region, um, Russia was a bit off, but yeah, that last round really threw me. I had no clue. Um, anyway, let's see. So we came fifteenth place still, which is good. I think um, that was hard for a lot of people. A hard seed. Um, yeah, that eighty reddish soil you get in um, Indonesia. That is a thing. That is a thing sometimes. So one hundred and seventy-three people played. So GGs, everybody. Let's look at the top scores. Iwagumu is in first with 21.8. Goatboy JT with 21.8. Uh, MMG with 19.5. Nunava is the best with 19.5. Ethan Wickham with 19.3. Jebuku with 19.1.
Bags with 19.0, East German Bear with 17.0, uh, Sir Buckeye with 15.5, and Save the Snail with 15.4. So, uh, GG's. Yeah, look at some of those round 5 scores. Let's look at the top 20. Um, yeah, let's let's see who did the best. Shout out to uh, J Bookie with the 4.4k there. Um, anyone else get over four four thousand? I don't think so. No. So uh, let's see. Um, yeah. So a lot of you did get the country. So well done f for that if you did. Some in Australia, which which I did briefly kind of think about. Um, and yeah, a couple in kind of Turkey. Um, I was in Ghana. I I just kind of threw it. I had no no idea. Um, a few in America. So yeah, very interesting round. Um, so we had the Uganda round. Um, uh, almost everybody getting Uganda. I was in Kenya. Um, wasn't sure between the two there. Yeah, and we had Portugal. Um, most people getting Portugal. So well done if you got Portugal there. I was in Spain. Um, a few more people in Spain as well. And we had. Russia, yeah, a lot of Scandinavia guesses there, and only a handful getting Russia, so well done to the four or five of you, or plus any more who, and Buki as well, getting Russia there. Um, so yeah, a couple of Montenegro as well. Um, and we had Guatemala, um, most of us getting Guatemala in the top 20, but a few in scattered around Mexico and Latin American countries as well. Um, Ecuador also has the single yellow line a lot. I don't think Brazil does. I think maybe sometimes, but not as often. It doesn't as often have the single yellow line. GG's everyone. Thank you for watching and playing along. Um, I'll be putting the links to the challenges for Tuesday in the description. So I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, evening or night, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.